To some continuing coverage, county officials holding a press conference today to urge Maquiladores to start using the newest and modernized Tornillo port of entry. Yeah, that's right. And this while also criticizing Texas Governor Greg Abbott for slowing down their efforts with DPS searches. Our Carla Draxler was there this afternoon. And Carla, this is good news because that port of entry could help with reducing commercial traffic. Is that right? That's right, Andy and Natasia. I'm currently at the Zaragoza port of entry. It's one of the busiest bridges where numerous commercial trucks from Mexico cross into the U.S. and into Texas. Uh, but with now the fully functioning Tornillo port of entry, the county officials are trying to get those maquiladoras to go through that uh, port of entry and alleviate some of that traffic from the other ones. Uh, however, their efforts uh, to make better use of that Tornillo port of entry are being counteracted uh, by the DPS uh, searches that are being conducted on every truck coming through the border. Now, El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego says before the DPS searches, that Tornillo bridge would have 700 commercial trucks pass through a day. And now that number is down down to only 300. Samaniego and other county officials criticizing Texas Governor Greg Abbott and his order that they say is hurting the local economy. They went from random to 100% inspection without finding evidence of drugs or migrants or anything that they were crossing through the cargo. And then unfortunately, if you have an opportunity, you want to go see DPS performing when they're inside their cars, uh, no sense of urgency, and they're impacting the economy tremendously and they're taking their time. County officials are encouraging use of this bridge for commercial traffic coming from Mexico to also alleviate the traffic in other ports and help with pollution in the city area. Now, this port of entry in Tornillo was estimated to bring in $20 million of revenue uh, for the El Paso County. However, uh, since only now uh, there was a that highway built on the Mexican side that connects directly uh, to Tornillo Bridge or a port of entry. Uh, they have not even come close to that. However, uh, County Judge Samaniego says that once those DPS searches are done and they're back to normal uh, with this new highway, that they could even surpass those $20 million in revenue. Reporting live from Saragossa Port of Entry, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you. All right.